I used to tell people that if I ever became a millionaire, I would tell nobody. But there would be changes that you would notice. The Cardinal King once again inviting you into the King's Court. And today's going to be part two of our ongoing series on becoming an AI art millionaire using Adobe stock. So today's part is going to be more tutorial-ish than the last part. If you haven't seen the last video and you're going to need to see it to follow along with this video, go ahead and click the link. I'll put it somewhere up here. All right, guys. So the first part of the tutorial is going to be a little bit more technical. I'm going to show you the technical things you have to do in order to get these images submitted. Again, if you want to see ideas for what you should be submitting and whatnot, that was in the last video. Go ahead and watch that. So for now, I'm going to show you guys some of the technicals. So whenever you make an image in mid journey, you're going to get a PNG output, right? And the problem with this PNG in particular is that they're going to be too small to put into Adobe stock. So we can fix that in two ways. I'm going to show you the first way, which is a little bit of a longer way. And then there's the second way, which is a lot shorter, right? So the first way is we put in all the images we want. We can grab, grab them like this in Adobe bridge, export the DNG and we can start the export, right? So that'll make this folder right here that has a bunch of DNGs. So when we open this, that lets us mess around with the temperature. We can post process this however we want, right? We can do exposure changes, add a little bit of contrast there if we wanted to, change the colors a little bit, whatever, right? But that's not the special part of this process. The special part here is that we can go to this, we can right click on this and go to enhance. And that gives us some super resolution, right? See right there, it's clicked on super resolution. Enhance. And this will be big enough for us to put into Adobe stock. Okay guys, the second way we can do this is super easy, right? So we open the original PNG, as you can see right there. We go into filters, neural filters, and then we get this panel over here. We go down to where it says super resolution. We open this puppy up. And there we go, right? So we can ask it to zoom in a couple of times. Let's say four. We can sharpen it. We can do enhanced face details, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's other things that you can do to like sharpen this up and whatnot, but I don't, I don't want to get super, super technical right now. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the pitfalls that I had and some of the challenges you'll be facing if you want to pursue doing this. And these are going to be some helpful tips for you no matter what, right? So the first thing that you have to be mindful of is that when this first started, the review times were only seven days. Now it can be up to two months, right? So a lot of people are like, oh, well, it, it only takes seven days to review. Not the case any longer. If we go down to my in reviews here onto the fifth page, which should have some of my older submissions, these photos of models have been in review here for 21 days. Right? So that's far longer than seven days. Um, so just keep in mind that if you're posting a lot of AI content, they will move you to a different queue. Here's the second pitfall. If the queue only takes 500 images, well, 501, the thing is, if you reach that 500 image length, they will throttle you so you, that you're not posting as much every day and they will move you to the back of the queue. And then the next thing is if you have a lot of images here in the secondary queue where you just have them waiting, but they're not queued up for review yet, they will throttle you even further, guys. So the play here is maybe not to get to those 500 and then don't put anything in here once you do. So I've put images in here because I want to show you guys examples of what else you have to do to get them streamlined. So one of the big flaws before is that I was trying to use Stable Diffusion, which super great tool if you have time and you're not making that many images. Unfortunately for this, since you want to create as many images as possible and just kind of flood the site, um, it's not that great. It just it takes too much time to get out by usable image, right? So we got a mid journey account. Right, we already had one, right? So we just started using Mid Journey to bust things out, right? So the first set over here is just food images. Um, at the very beginning, I thought these would sell the best, but the more I'm seeing things, the more I'm figuring out the food images don't really sell that well. What sells the best, in my opinion, are thematic holiday things. 
Um, there are certain forms of ever evergreen content that sell well, and that's things that have to do with AI, things that have to do with technology, things that have to do with recent news stories, right? So oil spills, um, any type of cryptocurrency, any type of AI, any type of technology, any type of networking thing, any type of Internet of Things type stuff, that's going to sell really well. So we've got more food. We've got desserts over here. We've got ice cream. We've got steak. Right, and I try to make it a little bit more upper class looking. Um, steak, 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 steak. Cheesecake. Here are some lungs kind of made out of plants. Um, here is a Wall Street bear. We've got AI stuff. We've got hacker stuff. Um, we've got oil spill stuff. Right, so Bitcoin, pharmaceutical stuff. Just things that you think people will buy more for news stories than to use on anything else. Um, but I'm also trying to put in every single thing I've created on Midjourney that I don't have a use for. Because it's free money, right? Like, it's basically just sitting there. Might as well just put it in, right? But yeah, one of the other things I did was like, oh, here's the little Wolf of Wall Street, right? Um, I did some animals, right? So we got monkeys in spacesuits, cats in spacesuits, got pigs that are flying, flamingos. Patterns I thought were going to be really popping. I don't know. They, they might still be. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you guys something right now when speaking of patterns. The only ones that I got that weren't accepted really quickly were these patterns, these granite patterns. And they decided not to accept these like two days after I submitted. So uh, I, I do think that they have some sort of a difficulty thing going on too in the uh, the queue where it grades the images from easy to grade to hard to grade and then it goes from there. So it's not necessarily either way. It's not a linear queue, right? Uh, one of the special things I try to do that I, I haven't seen much on these stock sites are like anime type backgrounds just because people my age really love anime and we're starting to get to that age where we're controlling creative direction. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, we did these like beautiful models. These I made in, um, in Stable Diffusion. That, that program is really kick ass for uh, doing analog type stuff. And they're also kind of somewhat trained on my photographs, so it's, it's got something a little personal in there, right? All right, guys, now for the most important meat and potatoes kind of thing I can tell you right now. This is going to help you streamline your images through this whole process. So we have to make sure that everything is labeled correctly so that they can check it as quick as possible, right? Because I've heard reports that if you don't do this correctly to a T, your images will take almost twice as long to get done. So here we go. So we, we can start by selecting the images we want, right? So it's going to be that whole set of cookies, right? You have to go here and press illustration. And then we put them whatever category it fits, right? So this will be food. It can be whatever your image is depicting. There'll be a category there, right? We click on created with using AI generated tools. Are there any recognizable people or property? No, this is all just made up stuff. There's no faces in there, right? If you have people or property, you press yes, and they will ask you for a release. Just have a release ready. And I mean, this release is just going to have your signature, and then you're going to say, oh, well, I created these images on my computer, you know, at my house, whatever, right? It's super simple. It's just kind of like a formality. The other two important things we're going to do here is on the title, we're going to put comma and then generative AI. So it doesn't matter what we put, like a mountain full of cookies, whatever the title is here, it doesn't matter. As long as it has generative AI at the end. Then in the keywords, we're going to want to put generative AI. Then we're going to want to put, again, generative AI and just put a comma between those. All right, guys, this is how you're going to get your images through Adobe Stock. I hope you liked the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the goofy things that YouTubers tell you to do. This has been the Cardinal King. Out.